you love cookies. In this video, this is the worst day of my life. Ow. That's it. Five minutes later. Oh no, not again. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm deaf. Where's my mom? I need to go home. Molly? Oh my goodness, Molly, you look so sick. Get in, honey. Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna throw up right here. Yup, I'm gonna. Blah. Blah. Ew, gross, Molly. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, baby Kira, I'm going to um, listen to your heart, and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance, and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry. When this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's going to be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that. I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver, and we're getting my baby there quicker. <laughs> My tummy kind of hurts. Oh, it's only 12.30 at night? Why do I have to go to the bathroom right now? That's so weird. Oh, no. I hope I'm not going to get a stomach ache. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh finally. Ready to the party. Oh, I just don't yeah. really feel good. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, it was probably nothing. I'll just go back to bed and get a good night's sleep. Five minutes later. Oh no! Not again! Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely sick. Oh. <laughs> uh, is that Daisy's alarm? It's already gone off like three times. Why doesn't she turn that off? That's so annoying. Oh, she's probably in the shower and forgot about it. I have to go turn it off, I guess, unless I want to hear that all the while I'm sleeping in. Daisy, what are you doing? Why are you still in bed? Uh-oh! Oh, Molly, I was up all night long, puffing and running into the bathroom and... Oh, God, Daisy, are you sick? I think so, Molly. Does my face look sick? Um, well, you have a green face and pink spots all over. Yes, you're sick! <coughs> Don't give it to me. Ugh, gross. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Molly. You're so kind. Well, ew, gross. And how come it smells like stinky doo-doo in here? <coughs> because, Molly, I told you it was up all night long sick. Uh-oh. gross. Well, wait a minute. Does this mean you don't have to go to school today? I can't go to school. How sad. Well, why should I have to go to school and you don't? Because, Molly, look at me. I'm green with pink spots. I'm really sick. Now get out of my room. I don't feel good. Fine. I can't believe my sister gets to stay home and I have to go to school. How is that fair? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I have the perfect idea. Oh, isn't she so cute when she's asleep in her crib? Look at her little passy. It's so adorable. Baby Kira, come on, sweetheart. It's time to wake up. Come on, I made breakfast. Wake up, sweetie. Which reminds me, Molly and Daisy aren't out of bed yet. Which I would expect from Molly, but Daisy? Hmm, she must have overslept. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Daisy? What's going on, honey? You're not out of bed yet. He looks sick. He definitely sick, mama. I can't sick, baby Kira. I, I don't feel so good, Mom. Oh, you look green. And are those spots all over your face? Oh, my goodness, honey. I don't get eyes on people. Daisy, feel bad. 
Oh, baby Kira, I don't think you should be around your sister right now. She might be contagious. Ow! I can't just tell mama, though. Oh, she just wants to help, honey. So, what are your symptoms? Well, I was up all night puking and running to the bathroom. I feel super cold, but my skin feels hot, and I feel nauseous still. Oh, my. That definitely sounds like some sort of flu. You need to stay home from school. I'll call the school. Thanks, Mom. Aww. I really don't want to miss school today. I know. Well, I got the mom, but I take your temperature. Whoa, that thermometer looks weird. Oh, I brought it home from the hospital. It's a new type of thermometer. It works really well. It's very accurate. Okay, hold still. Baby Kira is going to take your temperature. I just get what it is. Whoa! Your temperature is 103.2. Wow, you're definitely going to need to take some medicine to bring that down. After I wake up, Molly, I'll bring you some medicine, okay, sweetie? Okay, thanks, bub. Uh-oh! Here comes Mom! I have to get back in bed. Oh! Oh! I'm so sick! <sighs> Molly, are you okay? No! I'm so sick! Oh, really? Well, what are your symptoms? Um, I farted and it smelled like a taco! What? I've got an upset stomach is what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible! I can't go to school. Absolutely not. I have to stay here and play Roblox all day. Really? Are you faking being sick because your sister is sick? What? No, I didn't even know she was sick. Yes, you did, Molly! You came in here! Molly... Do you want to get grounded? No. Are you really sick? Um, the thought of going to school and having to face my teacher and not having done my homework makes me kind of sick. Uh-oh! Molly, get out of bed. Go down and eat breakfast. I have to bring Daisy some medicine. Ugh! Why don't you believe me, Mom? Because, Molly, I think you're just sick because you have to go to school. Not because you're actually sick. Now go get ready. Fine! Ow! I'm coming with the medicine, Daisy! Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She always gets away with everything. I get a buddy, yeah, you get your butt. I nurse baby Kira. Oh, you're nurse baby Kira. Oh. Aren't you adorable? Okay, mom made pancakes, so I guess this makes this day a little bit better, but, you know, not totally. Still have to go to school. My sister gets to stay home. Mm. Oh, look at that extra syrup. Delicious, so delicious. I can't stop eating it, for real. Mmm, I want some more. It's so delicious! I really want some more! <laughs> oh my god, I love when you're playing Roblox and you try to place something on the table and, like, it ends up some somewhere weird. <laughs> Look at my plate of pancakes. It's literally, like, balancing on the edge of that chair. <laughs> Sometimes Roblox glitches are so ridiculous! Ugh. Why did I eat so many pancakes? My stomach kind of hurts. <gasps> I hope I didn't catch it. Molly, you didn't catch anything. You just ate too many pancakes. Yeah, but since when have I not been able to eat a ton of pancakes? Like, never. I always eat every single pancake in the entire world. Daisy, you're so lucky you get to stay home. I don't think she's very lucky, Molly. Look at her. She looks terrible. I could have found you for you feel bad. Here you go, Daisy. Why am I drinking that from Baby Kira's sippy cup, Mom? Um, well, <laughs> I haven't run the dishwasher yet. It's all I had. Besides, remember when you were little? It was the only way you take medicine is in your bottle or your sippy cup. Mom, seriously? Well, it's all I have clean, so just just drink it, okay? Uh, I, I just gotta make sure Molly's getting ready to get on the bus. I'll be right back to check on you. Don't worry, Mama. I know it's baby Kira. I take good care of Daisy. Da, 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 da. Ugh, those pancakes were like too much. Seriously. Oh, I feel like, ugh. Ugh. Well, at least I'm ready for school. I guess that's something. I'm going to snap my adorable outfit right now because I do look super cute. Look at me. I have on my unicorn sweatshirt. So cute. It has all the colors of the rainbow on it. Just a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna actually give myself this cute... I think I'm going to give myself... <laughs> That's perfect to go with my unicorn. Yes! Sending it to everyone I know. Send to everyone. 
<laughs> Hello, bouncy bird. We meet again. Ah! Oh, no! Why can I never, ever win at this game? I can never win. I shall beat you, bouncy bird. If it's the last thing I do. Whoa. You can't just, Ooh. like, oh, whoa, life pay? No, I don't, I don't have any money. I just have to start over from the beginning. Oh, <laughs> Molly, are you getting ready for school? Uh-huh, yep, sure I am. Um, Molly, are you dressed? Yep, dressed. Oh, this game. Are you playing games on your phone? Um, caught you. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get back in bed. Sorry, that I didn't mean to. That was a Roblox thing. I swear it. <laughs> Does anyone else out there um, get on the bus before the sun even comes up? Like, how ridiculous is this? We are not supposed to be waking up this early in the morning. Seriously. I, I, I think that we should change this about it. <laughs> like, no more getting on the school bus when it's dark. That's too early. It's way too early. I guess um, the sun just comes up as I'm getting on the bus because I'm only the second person that gets picked up in the entire school. Hey, good morning, Molly. Wait, where's Daisy? Okay, everybody. Um, we're going to go pick up the other students, so make sure you stay in your seats. Yeah, I know, Bacon Hair. We hear ya. Oh, if, if, if I could only stop being a noob, I could get a better job than school bus driver, and I could actually... You know, buy some shoes! I mean, why am I such a bacon hair? Hey, being a school bus driver is very important work. Yeah, and, until you get homework crumpled up and thrown at your bacon hair. Okay, maybe the students are a little cray-cray with you, bacon, but, you know, overall, this has got to be a great job, right? I don't know, remember when we all got the stomach bug and we were throwing up all over the bus and then someone threw up in bacon's hair? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think I have a Snapchat of that. Let me look at my phone and see. Oh, no, I think I got erased. That would have been amazing if I still had that. Oh, yeah, it's a memory I want to remember forever, not. Anyway, Molly, where's Daisy? Did she get a ride from your mom or something? No, she's sick with none other than the flu. What? Is she going to be okay? I'm sure she is. I just think it's really unfair that she gets to stay home while I'm at school. Well, in her defense, Molly, do you really want to be home puking and everything? If it meant I could miss doing homework, yes! Okay, class, I need everyone to um, hand in your homework last night. Did anybody have any questions about it? Homework? Uh, homework? What homework? Molly, you have homework every single night except for the weekend. You knew you had homework. Uh, Molly, did you not do your homework again? <gasps> um, uh... Molly, you know, I'm a really cool teacher and all, but I just have to tell you that, well, I'm giving you detention. <laughs> detention? <laughs> Mr. Snickerbucker, you can't do this! I, I've never had detention in my life. I, I am the most best student in the whole world! This is shocking to me. <laughs> Molly without detention is like me without blue hair. <laughs> You're crazy. Billy, I don't know what you're talking about. Your hair isn't blue. Molly, sit down. But I don't want detention, please. Coming to school today was enough work. Well, you also need to do your homework and you know this, Molly. Now sit down and take your detention because it's what you're getting. Ow! Detention? Ugh. You know, you could actually do your homework and then you wouldn't get in trouble. Well, how does that help me now? I've already got the detention. Ooh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Uh, Mr. Schoenbacher, can I go to the bathroom? No, Molly, you need to do your work. I don't really have to go. Please, 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 please. Okay, but hurry back. Okay, I will. <coughs> oh my god, my stomach really hurts. Oh, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. Ah, why was the door open? Oh, okay, I just had to pull the handle. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, wait, I didn't even close the door. <laughs> That could have been really bad. Oh, my stomach hurts. Why oh, did I eat so many pancakes? I always think I can eat more pancakes than I actually can. Too many. Okay, okay, I think I'm okay now. <sighs> Don't go in that bathroom, though. Woo wee! It's closed for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. 
Uh, you're welcome. I didn't know it was such an amazing thing to have me in your class. It's not. Okay, everybody else has their books out, Molly, except for you. That's because my stomach's kind of really upset. Uh-huh, sure. Don't try to get out of detention. I'm not trying to get out of detention. Please. My tummy really hurts. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. My stomach is just really hurting me. Oh, no, Molly. You don't think you caught Daisy's flu, do you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Okay, Molly. I want you to go up to the board and read what's on it for me, please. Okay. If you really want me to. Oh. oh my uh -oh. stomach. Oh. <laughs> oh, Molly. Why didn't you go to the bathroom? Because I told you I needed to go and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yuck. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What is a continent? A continent is a very large landmass. Woohoo! Saved by the bell! Everyone is dismissed to lunch. Ugh, lunch. That doesn't sound very good. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey, Large Marge. Whoa, Molly, look. She has your favorites out today. Pizza, cheeseburgers, everything you love. French fries. Ugh, I don't want any of it. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now, Molly? You love this stuff. I'm Snapchatting it because this is like the most delicious like lunch we've had in all like the school year pretty much. I'm just eating a cheeseburger. I don't want to Snapchat lunch. Molly, are you okay? Maybe you did actually get sick. Come on, try something. Okay. Ugh. Nah, I'm just going to put my tray back. Oh, do you have the hiccups, Molly? <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh-oh. I got to go to the bathroom again. Molly, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. I think Molly might be sick. Oh, why are the bathrooms so far away? Oh, oh no, oh, no, oh, no. Um, I have to clean the bathrooms. Oh, no. Oh, why does a janitor have to come in right when I'm in the bathroom? Uh, somebody's in here. Okay, well, the bathroom's going to be closed in two minutes because I have to actually clean it. Ooh. No, it can't be closed. Molly, are you in there? Prookie, oh, no. Molly, are you okay? Oh, ew. There's a bunch of pink on your face. And why does it look like a rainbow? Oh, I ate some Skittles on the school bus. Whoopsie. Ugh, Molly, gross. Okay, girls, I need you to get out of here because, ew, it really needs to get cleaned. Um, sorry, but, um, I think I might have the stomach bug and... Oh, great. No, I'm gonna catch uh -oh. the stomach bug. Wait a minute. Aren't you the school bus driver? Yeah, but I wanted to be able to get a pair of shoes, so bacon hair has to have two jobs, okay? And now, also, the third job is gonna be, uh, canceled because I'm gonna catch the stomach bug from you. Wow, bacon, you really do have a rough life. Only, I think you need to go to the school nurse. Stat! Ugh. Oh, can't make it! Blech. Yeah, Molly, I'm walking you to the school nurse right now. Come on. Ugh. Thanks for being such a good friend, Brookie. <laughs> Molly, I really hope you feel better. Also, don't give me the flu. I'm trying not to, Brookie. I'm trying not to. Well, hopefully the nurse will just call your mom and you can go home. Uh, and also, you still look like you're puking. Ugh. Uh, oh, hello there. Um, checking into the nurse's office? Yeah. Oh, you look terrible. Ooh, why do you have rainbow puke? I ate Skittles on the school bus on the way to school. Oh, my. Okay, let's take your temperature. Go ahead, lay on the nurse's cot. The magic nurse's cot. Everybody knows. This will make you feel better. If anything will make you feel better, the magic nurse cot will. That's right, sometimes all you need to do is just lay down for a few minutes and then you'll feel better. I have to Snapchat this, this is kind of crazy. You need to lay down. I know, but first I want to show everybody that I was throwing up. Look, I'm going to be like a dog throwing up. <laughs> yeah. Don't I look adorable? Not. Um, this is more like it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> OMG, right, I'm sending it to everybody I know. I put on a face mask, Molly, obviously, because you're sick. Could you lay down, please? I'm, I'm trying to lay down, but this game won't let me, and I'm really sick, and I need to lay down. Come on, Roblox, what's wrong with you? Okay, there we go. Thank you for laying down. Okay, just hold still. I'm going to take your temperature. Oh, wow. 
Over a hundred. And I suspect it's going to keep climbing since you are throwing up. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'm going to call your mom. Can I go home? Yes, she'll have to come pick you up. It's ringing, Molly. Oh, thank goodness, I can't wait to go home. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this Laura Acker? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Don't tell me Molly got suspended. <gasps> what? No. She's in the nurse's office. She's not feeling well. Ugh. Oh, she's always trying to get away with that. She's just faking it. No, Mrs. Acker. I actually took her temperature and she's throwing up. She's actually really sick. Wait, what? Okay. Tell Molly I'll be there in 15 minutes to pick her up. All right, I will. Thank you. Well, your mom thought you were faking it. Do you often pretend that you're sick? Only when I don't want to go to school, do my homework, or be responsible for anything. Okay, so a lot. You might want to stop doing that. She didn't quite believe that you were sick. So wait, she's not coming to get me? I'm stuck on the nurse's magic cot when I want to go home and get in my pajamas and eat popsicles. No, honey, she's coming to pick you up. You just rest, and when she gets here, she can come get you. Thank you. Oh, I feel so sick, Mom! <gasps> Daisy, I'm so sorry, but I have to run over to the school. What? No, you can't leave me! I need more popsicles! And I need you to tell me, oh, there, there, are you okay? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to stay here and baby you while you're sick, I have to run over to, this, pick up this, over to the school and pick up your sister because she's also sick. She's faking it! She's not even sick! Actually, the school nurse called, and she caught your stomach bug, too, or whatever this is. I don't have it. Oh, that's right. And hopefully you don't get it, baby Kira. It's terrible. You don't want it. I feel bad for Molly. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to run over there with baby Kira. I'll be back in, like, 15 minutes, okay? Okay, Mama, I'll text you if I need anything. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Oh, no, Molly's caught the bug, too. Mama, I bought your Coco Mountain on your phone. Of course you can watch it on my phone, honey. Oh, but I think you should stay away from Molly and Daisy. I love them. I want to stay away from them. I know, honey. But the truth of the matter is, they both are sick and I don't want you to catch it. Mama, I make a Snapchat. Oh, that's so cute, honey. But listen to what I'm saying. No catching what your sisters have. I love Mama, I love. Where's my mom? I need to go home. Molly? Oh my goodness, Molly, you look so sick. Get in, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not faking it this time. You're not, sweetheart. But maybe you should stop faking things so much in the future so you're believed. Yeah, you're probably right, but ugh. My stomach is so upset. I threw up at school, and it was like rainbows from the snacks yeah. I ate on the school bus. Ew, and oh, and also ew. Okay, mom's gonna run in and just get some chicken noodle soup and some other supplies, okay? Hang tight. Okay, mom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna throw up right here. Yep, I'm gonna. Bleah. you tucked into bed. I thought it was funny. Da, 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 ba, da, da, ba. Yeah, real funny. Uh-oh, I might have to have you pull over, Mom. Seriously, we're almost home. I know, but I'm gonna throw up again, I think. Oh, no, Molly. All right, I'll take a shortcut. Okay, we're here. I gotta run to the bathroom. Oh, 
This has been the worst stomach bug of my entire life. Ah! Oh, wait, where's the bathroom? I can't even remember. Okay, there we go. Ah! Ah! What happened to the toilet? Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. Someone took the toilet out of our bathroom. Sorry, Molly, it wasn't working. So the repairman came today to take it back to his shop and fix it. Oh, who does that? Who steals a toilet? That's like something the Grinch would do. What am I gonna do without a toilet? Use a different bathroom. Oh. I Snapchat that, Molly. What? What? Yeah, you were talking about how there was no toilet. It was funny. Ah, give me that phone. I'm going to smash it. Get away. That mom phone. Give me that phone. I don't want people to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash that phone and Snapchat with it. Molly, that's my phone, and it's a brand new iPhone. I haven't even paid for it yet. Well, tell baby Karen to stop Snapchatting everything because it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'll tell her. You go up and get in bed. Obviously, you're very sick. Okay. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Do you want to just get in here with me since we're both sick? Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. At least you didn't get the pink spots. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. No, not quite. Molly, do you feel better? I feel so much better. Yeah, I feel like all better. Thank goodness, that stomach bug was terrible. I know, right? Thank goodness it's over. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually like thinking like, wow, I would rather go to school than have that stomach bug. Ugh, I even slept in my clothes last night because I was too tired to even get in my pajamas. <coughs> Is that baby Kira crying? She sure sounds like it, Molly. I wonder if Mom's taking care of her. I'm gonna go chat. I get your boy, I get boy, Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, Baby Kira, are you okay? I'm feel good. Daddy, you boy, I get boy. Gosh, um, let me see what is considered a fever that I should take you to the emergency room if you're a baby. All right, I better get my thermometer. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a fever you need to go to the hospital for. 102? Baby Kira, wake up. Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, she's not waking up. Molly, Daisy, someone call 911. What did mom just say? I think she said baby Kira's having trouble waking up. She's really sick, Daisy. I, I need to call 911. Call them really quick, Molly, do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance in my house. My baby sister, she's not really responding and she's sick with the bug or something. I don't know. We'll send an ambulance out immediately. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she's in here. She's in here. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to do my best to take good care of your baby. Baby Kira, can you hear me? She's responding. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to have to leave. What time? Her mother. I'm not leaving. Well, you keep running into me, and I can't do my job if you're, well, in the way. I, 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 okay, fine. I'll wait outside the door, but take good care of my baby. Don't worry. I'm going to. Okay, baby Kira. I'm going to um, listen to your heart, and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance, and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry, when this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's gonna be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope, this is as fast as it goes. But don't worry, I'm gonna get your baby there just as soon as possible. I'm just so worried. Yes, this one goes faster. Pull over and let me drive. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to hit the brake. You're a terrible driver for a paramedic. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver, and we're getting my baby there quicker because she's really sick. Hey, baby Kira, mommy's driving now. Everything's good. I feel good. You can't you. 
Everything's gonna be okay, sweetheart. I promise. No, we're just driving. You're a maniac! What? No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. I've never even gotten a ticket. Buddy, are you okay? No. This is all our fault. What? <gasps> Why is it our fault? Because we brought this flu home, and now baby Kira is so sick because she's a baby, and it's it's really my fault. Molly, the flu is just a bug. I mean, anybody can get the germs. We wash our hands, we do our best, but she still caught it. The stomach flu is very, very contagious. Oh, I just wish I had known I was coming to the hospital. I actually would have worn some shoes. Oh, I'm just so worried about baby Kira. Oh, my poor baby. I hope that you're okay. I really hope that you're okay. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Miley, and I'm so smiley because today is my first day at my new hospital. I'm so excited to take care of so many adorable kids as your favorite doctor, Dr. Smiley Miley. <laughs> oh, look, I'm gonna dress up as a little dog, cute! <laughs> Time to go see my first patient. Bye, everybody. What patient do I have first? Let's go see. Oh, what's going on here? Can you tell me your daughter's symptoms? Yes, my other two daughters who are older had what seemed to be the stomach bug. And now my baby has whatever they have, I think. Oh, well, we should run some tests and find out. Would you mind if I shared this on my TikTok? What? Yes. Oh, sorry. Some of my patients actually let me um, just share their case on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I'm kind of a famous doctor here at the Children's Hospital. Have you heard of me? Smiley Miley. Wait, what? You're Smiley Miley? Oh my God. Did you hear that, baby Kara? We're going to be famous. But first of all, let's get your baby girl feeling so much better. Okay, sweetheart, I know you don't feel good, but I just need you to lay completely still while I do this x-ray of your chest and your tummy. I just wanna make sure that nothing else is going on, okay? Okay, the machine, let me just take, make sure it's in the right position. Okay, perfect. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I look at your boy, get up up here. Oh no, the machine doesn't actually make that sound. I just do for fun. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Shouldn't it make that sound though? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quiet, it's weird. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at your x-ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely have a sad, frowny face type of x-ray, because you, have an infection. You definitely need some medicine. Come on, sweetie, let's go back and see your mom. I'll have you feeling better in no time. For that matter, I think you can probably just spend the night for one night and then go straight home to rest in your own crib. Baby Kira, I was so worried. Is everything gonna be okay? I took a x-ray of her chest and tummy and it does look like she has um, an infection. So I'm gonna give her some medicine and keep her for observation overnight, okay? Okay, but she'll be okay? Yeah, she's a great and healthy little girl. She should be fine once this medicine gets in her system. Thank you, Dr. Smiley Miley, you're amazing. You're welcome. Here I am with my amazing little patient, baby Kira. Where are you, baby Kira? Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? <laughs> anyway, guys, oh, she's kind of being shy. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, she's adorable. And guys, today I'm gonna make baby Kira feel all better. So make sure you log in to all of my social media channels to see how I do it. Bye. So we just got home from the hospital, everybody. Uh, my sister, baby Kira, is feeling so much better. She's just coming into the house now and she got medicine, so she's she's feeling much better. And my sister and I are all feeling better. Everyone's healthy. That's right, girls. Oh, I've had the most worrisome week ever. But at least we get to go back to school. What? Back to school already? Yeah, Molly, everybody's healthy. You get to go back to school. Oh, oh wait, um, Brookie's calling me, guys. I gotta end this snap. Whoa, she tried calling me like five times. <gasps> Hello? Hey, Molly. Uh, I 
I'm so sick. What? Oh no, you caught it. Yeah, did it feel like your stomach was trying to crawl outside of your body? Yep. Did it feel like you had to run to the bathroom every five seconds? Yep. Did it feel like you were dying? Yes, it totally did. Oh no, Bookie, I'm so sorry. We won't see you at school. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry. Uh, if we give it to you, I'm really sorry, Brookie. Girls, um, you have to say goodbye right now. There's something important on the news. Okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go, Brookie. I'll call you later to check on you. Bye, Molly. Bye. Feel better. Next up, we talk about a woman goes missing for years. But first, Brooke, this is crazy. All of our town is shut down for a week. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, it's true. The entire town has got the stomach on. Oh my god. Do you think our toilets can handle that? Let me answer that. Probably not. School is closed for the rest of the week. Everybody, please stay home. Stay inside. Just door dash so that no one has to see the anyone else. And we can just stop the spread of this crazy stomach bug virus. Molly, we seriously infected the entire town. Ow! Um, oopsie! <laughs> girls what's everyone doing today um well i was thinking about going over to brookie's house for a little bit whoa dad mom's gonna be home in like two days and uh we need to get this place cleaned up and also your hair is a little cray cray <laughs> dad you can't even see half your face you need a haircut oh huh, what no I, I i'm trying something new well, let, let me take a look at it Oh, whoa! It did get really long while your mom was gone on this work trip. Yeah, Dad, you know that she likes it short, so you should probably go to the barber and get your hair cut. Yeah, but my barber, he quit. Ow! And, and I don't have any new ones. Well, just Google it, Dad. Yeah, Dad, just Google it. Duh. What are you, from the Stone Age? <laughs> oh, very funny, but yes, I am. Oh, look at this place. Oh, here's a new place in town. Cuts are us. They do men's haircuts for $1.99. Uh, Dad, I'm pretty sure they haven't charged $1.99 for a haircut since, like, 1900. <gasps> You're probably not going to get a very good haircut, though. Nobody worry. Cuts are us looks like a perfectly good spot. Do they have any Google reviews? No, but I mean, they're a brand new shop, so they're not going to have reviews yet. I'm sure I'm going to be their first five-star review. Uh-huh. Or you're going to come home bald. <laughs> oh, sure. That's super funny, Molly. Ha-ha. <laughs> All right, so if you girls are going to go over to Brookie's house or whatever, make sure you're home by dinner, because I'm going to make dinner with my new amazing haircut. <laughs> okay, Dad. Well, good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to look so handsome. You're not going to even believe it. <laughs> Have a good day, girls. Oh, and um, take baby Kira with you, okay? Dad! Come on. Your little sister's not that annoying. She's not potty trained. Ugh. Whoa, this place looks nice. Hello. Welcome to Cuts R Us, where we cut your hair. Oh, <laughs> that's good, because I definitely need a haircut. Look at me, man. I'm, like, kind of crazy right now. Wait a minute. Why do you have your hair cut, uh, covered up? Are you bad at cutting hair, so you don't want to show me what yours looks like? What? No. I'm just cold. I'm from Florida, and I'm not used to this cold weather you have here. Oh, yeah. It does get pretty cold in this town. Would you like to have the full service? I could give you all sorts of skin treatments and um well uh i'll still do it for one dollar and 99 cents oh okay then yeah the works please have a seat over here first we'll start washing your hair he doesn't even know what's about to happen to him <laughs> uh oh uh did you say something yeah i said you're gonna look so gorgeous when I get done. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa, that shampoo you're using, it's making a lot of bubbles. And ow, it's kind of burning my scalp. What is that? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. We want to get your head extra clean. Because if you're going to get a haircut, you don't want dirt. No. Um, okay, whatever you say, you're the expert. Now it's time to give you a nice haircut. Um, I'm really excited because my wife's coming home from a work trip and I just want to look really handsome for her. I think I might take her on a date night. Aww. Oh, how lovely. Wow, I feel really different. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> You don't even need to pay me the dollar ninety nine. Okay, well, um, yeah, thanks for your service. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later, weird straight. I like Bookie Cookie House. She's so nice. That's just because she ate, let you eat chocolate chip cookies like the entire time we were there. Yeah, baby Kila, you would never be able to do that at home. And that's why I like going to Book of Cookies house. Because her name is Book of Cookie. I keep feeding me lots of cookies. <laughs> yeah, she does feed you lots of cookies, that's for sure. Come on, baby Kara, let's go see what Dad made for dinner. I'm starving. Where have you guys been? Uh, Dad? Uh, is this some sort of prank? Uh, Dad, your salon time looks a little bit, well, like it went quick quick. What are you talking about? I think it'll look amazing on my hair. Uh, have you looked in the mirror? Because, uh, you're, uh, bald. You went from having too much hair to zero hair, Dad. Yeah, and your skin's bright yellow. Um, and, uh, were you, uh, I don't even know what to say. I just did the body that almost ugly. Uh oh! Baby Kara! Well, you may think I'm ugly, but. You are late. Uh, Dad, you said to come home by dinner. It's usually dinner about this time. Dinner was started three minutes ago. Oh, sorry about that. What are we having? Noodles. Lots and lots of noodles. What? Noodles? Well, it is Dad, and he's not the best cook. I guess ramen noodles it is. Yeah, I don't mind him that much. Kind of getting used to that since Dad's cooking so terrible. I have a chore chart for each of you to do. It's going to take you a long time, so I suggest you get started immediately after eating your noodles. I don't do chores. I am baby. You will do chores. All of you will do chores. Every single chore. <gasps> Dad, are you feeling okay? Usually when mom's out on a work trip or a girl vacation or something, we eat pizza and then we watch our favorite TV shows. Dad, that's what we love so much about you being home instead of mom. You don't even say anything about chores. Well, times are changing. Get with the program, kid. Um, okay. Um, uh, we're just gonna go wash our hands for dinner. Daisy, psst, come here. I don't buy the big carry. Baby Kira, shh. I have to tell you and Daisy something really important. Why is it, Mommy? I couldn't keep it secret. Hey, baby Kira, you're not the best at keeping secrets. We're in here. We're in here, Daisy. We're in here. What is it, Molly? What's wrong? Dad is what's wrong. He's acting really weird and really strict. <laughs> I noticed that, too. Something happened to him when he was at the, s the salon having his hair done. You mean besides the fact that they shaved his head bald? Yeah, besides that, maybe they took some of his brain with it. Yeah, could be. Are you guys starting on those chores? Whoa, who is this guy? Well, it's obviously still our dad, but I don't know. Something must have happened to him. And I think we should spy to find out. I like to spy! I'm good at spying! Baby Kira, shh! You're also loud and not very good at keeping secrets. Okay, I'm the bravest one of the three of us. That's because you don't mind getting in trouble, Molly. Uh, yeah, I have had a lot of detentions. But anyway, I'm going to um film Dad and see what he's doing right now. Maybe we can prove to everyone in town that our dad is weird and strict and gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad, but at least we could send it to Mom. Maybe she'll come home early. Or to Brookie and she'll let us spend the night. Or to the police and then they'll come rescue us and they'll, they'll adopt us and arrest us. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but anyway, I'm going to go see what Dad is doing. God, 
kind of afraid right now because this dad seems like he's definitely going to give me uh, some sort of timeout forever. Ow! All right, guys, I'm going to Snapchat this because I just want to see what dad is doing. If it's something crazy, I definitely want to get it on film. What is he doing? Uh, he's, he's literally just sitting on the couch and there's no TV on or anything. What is he doing? Oh my god! I think it might be turning around! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is it, Molly? What'd you find out? He was just sitting there staring at that blank TV screen, not doing anything. And then he like consents I was Snapchatting him and, and, and recording him. I see, but I'm not doing anything, Bob. Um, I'm going to the bathroom! Um, uh, uh, I'm laying down. I mean, I'm vacuuming. What's going on here? Oh, you're doing your chores. I could have swore you were Snapchat. Me? <laughs> What's Snapchat? I don't even know what that is. Right. Get back to your chores. Okay, weird strict dad. What? <gasps> Nothing. Oh, coast is clear, Daisy. That's good, because I was about to have to clean the toilet. And there's a poo-poo in there. What? I don't see a poo-poo. What are you talking about, Molly? Look at the size of that thing. Ah! Ew! Oh, Dad must have had a bean burrito for lunch. Gross. Yeah. Hey, baby Kira, I think it'd be better if you just went to sleep. <laughs> well, I guess my wish was coming true, because she's sleeping right now. That's better for her. We need to get to the bottom of this weird strict dad thing. And she can't blow our cover. Yeah, exactly. Let's go spy on him and see what he's doing again. You can take another Snapchat and share it to everybody in town. Something definitely is happening to our dad. Okay, Molly. I'll Snapchat this one and send it to you. Okay. I'm going in. Where is he? Oh. Ew, what's he eating? Oh. It's disgusting. It's like pureed broccoli on a piece of moldy bread. Ew. Yeah. Daddy, don't let him know we're here. We want the evidence that he's turned into a weird strict dad. <laughs> ah! Ah! His, 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 his head! It just spun around backwards! Huh? What? Who's there? You better be doing your chores. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna find the vacuum and uh, where did I leave it? Oh, did I leave it in the bathroom? No, that was just where the giant poo poo was. Where did I leave the vacuum? Okay, I made it. Just in time. Daisy sent me a snap. I made it just in time. Oh, Daisy sent me a snap. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Daisy caught the weird strict dad with his head turning around backwards. Uh, Molly, I think we should probably get in bed. The wheelchair dad is coming, and he doesn't look too happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, guys, uh, I just have to, like, pretend I'm sleeping. Molly, you're in my room. You won't know. He's a weird trick dad. He's still a dad, Molly. Something definitely happened to him. And I think after he falls asleep tonight, he should sneak out in town and figure it out. Good. You're in bed. No talking. No, even breathing. <laughs> kind of weird. Well, Molly, I don't know who that is, but it's not our dad anymore. Yeah, it's definitely the weird strict dad. Come on, I'm going to peek out and see if he's out there. Okay, so far the coast is clear. Okay, let's go get baby Kira. Baby Kira. Baby Kira. Wake up. Maybe we have to leave her. Yeah, right. I'm not leaving my baby sister with that crazy guy. Okay, baby, here. I'm going to pick you up. Come on. I die. Why are you wake up? Because this guy is not our dad. He's a weird, strict dad. Or maybe our dad is possessed or something. I don't know. We have to go into town and find out what we can about this crazy salon. Now be quiet, baby, Kira. <laughs> baby, Kira, now's not the time to poop your diaper. Sorry. I could help it. What? What's that smell? Ah! He smelled her poopy diaper! Okay, okay. Um, wait. I gotta take baby care back to her crib. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Buddy, I'm gonna soak it. Come on, hurry! Okay, I'm just gonna sit in the car with you, baby care. What? What's going on here? Why are you sleeping in the baby's crib? Um, because the baby needed a diaper change and she was kind of crying, so 
I didn't want to bother you, Dad, so I just took care of it. Fine, as long as you're in your beds. Now go to sleep. Whoa, baby Kira, that was a close one. Come on, we have to get out of here. Buddy, the coast is clear. Come on. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Oh my gosh, he's over there on his phone. Okay, okay, let's sneak out the back. God, the door's locked. <laughs> Where do you think you two are going? Um, uh, uh, Miley, come up with a good excuse. You're good for excuses. I mean, that's what you use every time you don't do your homework. Busted. You're stuck with me. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> what? What's this? It's the police. I caught them. You're being crazy. You have to go to jail. What? Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. You're going to jail. <laughs> we Snapchatted the whole thing, weird strict dad. Buddy, that's still our dad. No, it's not. He's possessed by something crazy. Oh, I'm not going to jail. I'm just going to run away. What? Wait, wait. <coughs> but, but, ah, uh, <laughs> the door is locked. You can't get out. I locked the door. Of course I can. Where'd I put the key? There it is. <coughs> Bye. Well, um, I don't know what we should do now. We should definitely find out what happened to our dad. Come on. Hey, guys, it's me, Molly, and I'm holding my baby sister, baby Kira. Something really crazy is going on. Our dad came to this salon to get a haircut. He came home bald, for one, and his skin is, like, bright yellow, for two. And for three, he's acting like this weird, strict dad. I don't know what's happening. Molly, I've been inside the salon, and, and, and there's a sign in here. What's the sign say? Moved to Blacksburg. Wait, what? Moved to Blacksburg? But now we won't get any answers. I think we might be stuck with the weird strict dad forever. Well, he did run away, so maybe not. Maybe we're going to be abandoned. We're going to need a new dad. Uh-oh. Hello, Molly. Who is this evil salon shop owner that changed our dad? And where did weird strict dad actually go? Welcome to the Weird Strict Dad Club, where you can hang out at the beach all day, eat ice cream, and not deal with any annoying kids. <laughs> it's good to be in the Weird Strict Dad Club. <laughs> all for the price of $1.99. <laughs> just asked me for a snack five seconds ago, but I'm still hungry. Can I have some treats? Maybe some chocolate, a uh, candy bar, something like that. No, your mom said no garbage food while I was on duty. Sorry. But, but Hannah, you have to let me eat some chocolate. Preferably, I would like to have a Hershey's bar or uh, maybe like a something with peanut butter in the center. What are those called again? Reese cups. Yeah, Reese cups, can I have one of those? <laughs> You're too funny, Molly, but no. Huh. Okay, I guess I have to entertain myself a different way. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, are you seriously jumping on the couch? If I turn around and still see you jumping on the couch, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm still jumping. You should probably give me some chocolate. Molly. Okay, you have five seconds to get down, Molly. One, two, three. Thank you, Molly. Four, five. We were just counting my jumps. Molly, seriously. Would you please do your chores? Please, Molly, do your chores. Okay, jeepers, Hannah, you've gotten kind of bossy. Well, uh, I'm not bossy, I'm a good babysitter. You're just driving me crazy. Okay, I'll do my chores. Mom always keeps some extra things in here, and I'm going to eat them. Da, 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 da. What, your mom doesn't keep cookies in the safe? Must be you don't like to eat cookies as much as I do. <laughs> Good cookie. Hmm. No wonder mom was hiding him from me. Mommy, are you eating sweets? I told you not to eat sweets. Yeah, and I have way too much energy. Oh no. Don't tell me you're gonna bounce on the couch again and you're eating a cookie. You're getting crumbs everywhere. Your mom's gonna be so mad at me. Molly! That's it. I quit. Wait, Hannah! H Hannah? Uh-oh. Another one.
one bites the dust. Yum. The babysitter, that is, not the cookie. I can't believe I'm looking for a new babysitter again. Mommy keeps making all of the babysitters quit, and I need to be able to get to my job every day. Ugh, what am I gonna do? I know, I'll Google it. Babysitter that can handle bratty, misbehaving children. <gasps> well, mostly just Molly, but anyway. Oh, your kid will behave with my babysitting? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll send her a message. Hi, I'm looking for a babysitter for my three kids. One is trouble. Don't worry, she'll behave with me. Well, you're hired. Babysitter today, Molly. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, baby Kira, I know you're hungry. Molly, get out of bed seriously. What? Why? What, what's going on? Where's Hannah? She quit, remember? Ow. Ah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you get to stay home with us then, Mom. No, Molly, I have to work. And you have to be with a new babysitter. Now get out of bed so you can meet her. What? A new babysitter? <laughs> I'll have her quitting in less than 10 hours. <laughs> now girls, specifically Molly, I want you to be on your best behavior. This babysitter was the last resort and very expensive. So gluey, mom, I'll behave as usual. Um, no promises. Uh oh Molly! Okay, fine, I'll try my best. I could jump on couch like Molly. No, baby Kira, do not act like Molly. Molly's very naughty. I don't want to be like Molly, I love her. Baby Kira, try to be like Daisy, please. Bye. Oh, she just texted me. Her name's Brooke, by the way. Brooke, like Brookie, like my best friend? Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever, they're all awesome. Ooh, pancakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, these are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom play with the phone because you're fine. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I want you to play with your phone. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not. One hour later. Molly, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm Brooke. No television. But I was watching gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. Wait, what? Oh, Kuwait! Mom, I owed a prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I can't go by and pick that from your fault, Molly. I'm not a prison guard. I'm a last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. It's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop to your laundry. But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh oh! So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she, she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. You're favorite. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 
Looking up reviews on this babysitter. Everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop, hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby Kira. Wait, come back here. Uh, no, you are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. Are you ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. <gasps> I want you to behave. Whoa! Um, so you are actually me? No. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. Guys, I need to come up with a plan because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. Okay, it's Molly here, guys, and I just wanna make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean. So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know. Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so. I want to have fun because I'm at the park. I don't think so, kid. No fun. Ah! See? She just made my little sister cry. Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what. Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Wubai's got your snap including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run! What? You <laughs> did this snap? That's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady. Molly, run! Oh my God, this lady's crazy. Big in here, we need a ride! Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, we're just right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Follow it, dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm. Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my God, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it. 
Molly, we'd be faster off just running. Yeah, she's got a point. Let's go. <laughs> ah, and then I was got run over by the free candy guy. Okay. Um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. DZ, the hospital is right here. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> my brain was like in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know which one to go to. Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or, or like x-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, 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 yeah, yeah, Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! What? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? All three of them? That's it. She's fired. And getting one star on Google. Yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But, Molly, you were so naughty. I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day, instead of more like a hundred. Molly! Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom! I can't live without my cookies! <laughs> sound just like mom and by the way you're my sister not mom so you can't tell me what to do molly did you finish your homework Ow. how about that molly can she tell you what to do um yeah but i've mostly got it done molly mostly doesn't count mom i just want like a couple more minutes to play this game please i worked so hard at school today my brain feels like it's mush i need to just relax okay molly you can relax for a couple more minutes Really? She gets away with everything. Bouncy bird. Ooh, this looks fun too. Wait, did I just die? <laughs> oh. Oh, I gotta keep making it bounce. Oh, I ran into the wall. <laughs> I don't have any money right now, so I have to just keep starting from the beginning. Just going along, being a little bouncy bird. Molly, Mom said you only had a couple of minutes. Daisy, quit telling me what to do. My sister is kind of annoying because she likes to tell me what to do. And really, she's not my mom, so she can't tell me for reals. Oh, I died again. Excuse me, Molly. I need to vacuum under your feet. No excuse for you. <laughs> okay, get vacuuming. Molly, you're so rude. I'd like you to see one day of how I go to school and how I do my morning and night routines and how you do uh, no, that doesn't sound fun. And besides, I do plenty. Oh, uh, really? We'll see about that. My sister is the laziest person on the entire planet. Definitely entire Roblox. She is so lazy. And she never does her night routine, her morning routine, her school routine, or any routine except for playing on her phone. I'm going to expose her on Snapchat and she'll have no choice but to, well, See her evil ways. Hey, Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Molly, quit, quit making me look ridiculous on Snapchat right now. <laughs> look at us. We look crazy. Uh, Molly, don't you have some homework to do or something? Who, me? No, I didn't need to do any homework. Molly, we're in the same school, in the same classes. We had homework. Uh-huh, yep, whatever. Woman goes missing for years. Holy guacamole, that's kind of crazy. What else? Uh, cooking channel? No, that just makes me hungry. Gymnastics? This looks good. 
Hey, Molly, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? Oh, um, just texting Pookie. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> I'm relaxing. Mom said we have to do a night routine. Night routine? What's a night routine? Molly! Um, this is my night routine. Chill on the couch, play on my phone, repeat. All right, where's my games again? I definitely got to try that bouncy bird one more time. So keep losing. Oh, why? <laughs> Molly, is that all you do is play that game? Pretty much. It's my life. Oh, I'm going to make it past this part. Ah! Oh, this game is so hard. All right. Um, what is wrong with me? I feel like such a bouncy bird noob. That time I actually made it. Oh! Ooh. I made it to two. Oh, let's keep trying. Um, Molly, don't you want to brush your teeth or take a shower or anything? We have school tomorrow. Your breath is going to smell really bad. Ah, uh, nah. I'm still going to play this game. Perfect. I have all the evidence I need that my sister's lazy. Well, I do all the chores, and I'm the good daughter. All I have to do is click this, and everyone's going to see it. Well, Molly, <sighs> be prepared. While I wait for my friend Megan to get here, I'm just going to make a cute little snap since I'm about to get some dog food for my new puppy. Oh, he looks so cute. Look at me. Hey everybody, I'm getting a new, um, well I already got the puppy, but I'm getting some dog food and toys for my new puppy. He is adorable. Can't wait to show you guys him. Whoa, I'm getting new snaps. Hey girl, what's up? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm glad you came to the pet store and helped me pick out all these toys. No problem. I can't wait, believe that you got a puppy. That's amazing. Did you see that snap about that girl's Molly that goes to our school? What? No. What about it? Did she get a puppy too? No. She's just like so lazy. She doesn't do anything like ever except for sit on the couch while her sister Daisy does everything. Wait. Are you serious? She's really lazy? Yeah. Totally. Uh oh. Ugh. Being that lazy is so gross. I know, right? She doesn't even brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Lame. Ew, gross. Yes. Dude, you ready to skateboard? Uh, look, Luke, I don't want to tell you this, but were you planning on asking Molly to the dance? Yeah, Bacon, why? Because, dude, she doesn't brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Gross. Wait, what? Yeah, look at her sister Daisy's latest snap. She's just sitting there on the couch, like, totally lazy. Whoa, I didn't know Molly was like that. Neither did I, but... Apparently, her sister said that she's like this all the time. I would really think about not asking her to the dance. <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna text her and let her know that, um, I don't think so. Oh, I got a text. I wonder who from. It's from Luke. <laughs> Dear Molly, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be asking you to go to the dance because you don't brush your teeth or your hair. <laughs> what? Daisy, did you tell Luke that I don't brush my hair or my teeth? Uh-oh. Daisy! Um, can't talk right now, Molly, but I may have made a Snapchat about how lazy you are. What? Daisy! Daisy, where are you? When I find you... Oh, my God, can't be here right now, Molly. Gotta go. Got lots of homework. Daisy, open the store right now. Well, Molly, only, um, if you decide to not be lazy and leave all the chores to me. Daisy, open this door. Ugh. Molly... Seriously, this is my room. You can't just come in here. Well, I did. You think that your night routine is so difficult? Well, why don't we just see about that? Why, you want to switch with me, Molly? I sure do, Daisy. Your night routine can't be hard at all. <laughs> okay, Molly, I'm going to go sit on the couch and play on my phone. Have a uh, lot of fun doing all the homework, all the rest of the chores. There's dishes in the sink. Uh -oh. Also, the bathroom needs scrub. Ew, the toilet? <laughs> yep, you get to do it, Molly. Oh, man. I don't want to scrub the toilet. Gross. Yeah. Can't be that difficult, though. Ugh, it looks like there's doo-doo in there. Gross. Well, this is one way to take care of the yuckiness in the toilet. Ah, just vacuum it out of there. See, that wasn't difficult at all. Uh, but I may have ruined the, ruined the vacuum because I think I sucked up lots of water and maybe a poop. 
Wow, I never knew how great it was to be lazy. Lazy. I like being lazy. Molly, what are you doing? You can't sit down right now. Well, I just cleaned the toilet with the vacuum, and it was a lot of work. Uh oh. What? You? How did you clean the toilet with the vacuum? I just sucked everything out of there. Molly, you probably ruined the vacuum I'm hiding under the couch. I don't want to get caught by mom. <laughs> It'll be fine. You can tell her I did it. I'm not ashamed that I wanted to clean the bathroom that way. Totally worked, too. Wow, this is a lot of dishes. Aw. Keep washing, Molly. No soap. What am I going to do now? Well, I guess I'll just put them away like this. No one will really notice if there's just a little bit of food on them. Right? I don't really even think they need to get washed. Or maybe I could call Gracie and Cleo, our dogs, to come in here and lick them. <coughs> That's an even better idea. Gracie, Cleo! <coughs> come on! Come lick these plates nice and clean. Yeah. Pretty clean. I mean, if you don't like dog slobber on your plate, I guess you could just not eat on one next time. <laughs> but I don't mind. A little dog slobber not, never bothered me any. Finally, I can sit down and watch some TV. I don't think so, Molly. You still have to do all your homework. Oh, I know, right? Being mature is a lot of work. Oh, I can't wait to play this next game. This homework is so boring. Uh -oh. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Molly, wake up! What, 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 what? Don't be falling asleep and drooling on your homework. You're gonna fail. Everybody gets a D for drool. <laughs> well, Molly, how was switching knife routines? Um, it was, it was easy as can be. Except for the fact that look at all this dust all over the bathroom. Ew, Daisy! I guess you're gonna have to clean this toilet again before you go to bed. <laughs> Ew, da Daisy! <laughs> this is just rude. I want my old routine back. I quit. <laughs> Molly, you can't just quit. What are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. I quit. <laughs> Here's Molly saying that I'm lazy. Um, totally and completely. If you don't like that about me, well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I do, I do brush my teeth though, like every day. But I also play a lot of games. And I like to take snaps too. And I look so silly and cute. Aww. And that's way more important to me than cleaning all the toilets. So I guess I'll take my life back. No, Molly, I like your life better. I'm going to keep it. Wait, what? But, but, but I'm used to you cleaning everything. Yeah, and I'm used to you being lazy. So it looks like we're going to have to divide it up equally. Uh. Well, at least you can get some help and you don't have to do it all by yourself. Now you know how I feel. Okay, Daisy, but I'm not cleaning the potties. I'll do the dishes. Fine, Molly. It's a deal. <laughs> to boop that like button for a delicious cookie. So glad to be home. That was the longest study session ever. Um, Molly, you locked me out. Well, you should have your own key, Daisy. Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm just saying, it, you didn't have to lock me out. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm going back to my room. Nice talking to you too, Molly. Jeepo, sometimes she's so rude. I wonder what they had for dinner. I'm starving. Ooh, cheese boobos, one of my favorites. Oh, hey, sweetheart. Did you just get home from your study session? Yeah, Mom, I did. It went pretty good. I think I'm ready for the test tomorrow. Oh, but I'm so glad to be home. I still have a lot to do before I go to bed, though. You do? Like what, honey? Well, I promised some of my friends that I would do a Snapchat of my night routine. Wow, that sounds really cool. Well, um, as long as you're in bed by like 10 o'clock, okay? Deal, Mom. So, anything else happen awesome today? Not really, just a lot of studying and schoolwork and stuff. But it's gonna get a lot more interesting when I do my Snapchat of my night routine because no one knows how to put pigtails in like me. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Daisy. I just got home from my study session and I promised you guys that I would do a night routine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, you guys can see I'm in my bathroom right now. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bath 
and wash my hair because the best way for me to show you how to put up my pigtails um, is to uh, take a bath and wash my hair first. I know what you're saying. Do you sleep in those pigtails? And the answer is yes, I do. Because after I wash my hair, if I put it up like this, I don't know. It just is so perfect the next day. It doesn't get all like tangled or anything. So I, I do sleep in my pigtails after I've washed my hair. So I'll be back in a minute, guys, with the second snap. But first, I'm going to show you how adorable I look right now. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. <laughs> so guys, um, I'll be right back after my bath. Daisy, I just got your snap and I have questions. Buddy, that right now. I'm getting ready to do my night routine and I have people that really want to see this. Okay, yeah, but I have questions about your snap. I mean, like, so you wash your hair and then you wear it in pigtails all night long? I mean, how does that even work? Like, like, isn't it uncomfortable to sleep on your, your pigtails? Buddy, I will answer all this in my Snapchat. Now get out of my bathroom. Okay, rude. Guys, I just got done with my bath, but I wanted to show you this part where I shampoo my hair because um, I use something really different than most people. I know this is kind of crazy, but I use baby organic shampoo ah. because it makes my hair so soft, just like a baby. It is like my favorite thing to use. I'm telling you, it will make your hair so healthy and soft. So I'm just going to hop back in the tub and show you guys how I put this um, baby shampoo in my hair. Let me just take that towel off. So just open the lid of the baby organic shampoo and just start putting it in your hair. The shampoo makes a lot of bubbles, but don't worry about it. Oh, it's some of it's like running down my face. Oh, oh, ow, 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 this, this is supposed to be baby shampoo, no more tears, what dials, ow, it's hurting so bad. Okay, can I turn off the snap? Oh, I hope nobody sees that. My eye is burning. Ow, ow, ow. Daisy, are you okay? My e, what are you doing? Get out of my bathroom. Um, but are you okay? You're like screaming. I, 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 I. Oh, Daisy. Your eyeball is disgusting. What happened to you? I got shampoo in it. It was supposed to be no more tears, but obviously they lied. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to get mom. Ew. Oh, I think I'm going to throw up or pass out. Oh, Molly, go get mom. I'm going, I'm going. Wow, I should turn Snapchat on. Everybody in the world should probably see this. Ouch, it hurts so bad. What's all this screaming about? You woke up, baby Kira. Oh my God, Daisy, what happened to your eye? It's from that organic baby shampoo. It got in my eye, mom. Oh my God, we have to take you to the emergency room. That doesn't look good. Yeah, we definitely should take you to the emergency room. Okay, guys, check this out. My sister's eyeball is hanging out. Molly, are you putting this on Snap? Uh, uh, Molly, turn that off right now. We need to drive your sister to the emergency room. Go get baby Kira. And Daisy, um, put on some clothes, okay? Okay, I'll try. My eyeball just really hurts. I gotta do Snap for Molly. I wonder what it is. She's probably just telling me to feel better. <laughs> Molly! You Snapchatted me with, with my eyeball like this? Are you kidding me? Ugh, Molly! Oh, Mom, hurry. It hurts so bad. Okay, Dizzy, I need to ask you to do something for me. Uh, probably not panic would be a good thing. Dizzy, I think you should never wash your hair ever again. Wait, what? Yeah, look at the danger that can happen when you wash your hair. Uh, Mom, I think that's a little unreasonable. You might be freaking out just a little bit. Come on, let's go into the emergency room. Hurry! Okay, sweetie, how are you feeling after that medicine? A lot better, but will my eye heal? Of course it will. According to Dr. Google, it will heal in about two weeks. But your side effects could include having, well, random bouts of diarrhea. Wait, what? If the sides fail coming up, that doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah, I know, but I'm sorry. It's just a side of the fact of that. And, well, just try not to eat too many bean burritos. Ay, yeah, yeah. Could this day get any worse? Doctor, how is she? Well, like I said, 
This medicine can cause lots and lots and lots of... Let's not talk about that anymore, please. Did you guys hear that? Casey's gonna have lots and lots and lots of diarrhea. Man, that really stinks. Get it? That stinks? <laughs> Molly, are you Snapchatting that? Um, Molly, seriously, stop making snaps of your sister in this horrible situation. It's not very nice. Um, okay, sorry. I'm not sure this day could get any worse. Well, you also have to wear an eye patch over that eye for at least two weeks. Nope, I was wrong. The day just keeps getting worse. Now I'm going to be a pirate for two weeks. Great. Molly, why are you sending me a Snapchat right now? Just check it out, Daisy. It's adorable. Will she chase her own eyeball? <laughs> Molly, did you just make me into a googly-eyed puppy? Oh, you're ruining my life, Molly. I can't believe I have to go to school with my pigtails looking like this. I couldn't even sleep in them last night. Uh, Daisy, your pigtails are the last thing I'd be worried about. I mean, what about the fact you're wearing that pirate bandage and your eyeballs hanging out? I, I, I'm having the worst life ever. I wonder if I could fit in my locker. I could hide in there all day. Don't be ridiculous. It's not like I send any of the snaps to anybody else, but just you and, like, Brookie. Oh, well, that's a relief. Oh, when someone asks what happened, I'm just going to tell them, oh, I got a little scratch. I should be fine. Oh, my God. Look at this Snapchat of Daisy. Ew, your eye was, like, falling out. That's so gross. Wait, what? what? Let me see that. Molly, you sent it to the entire school. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Molly, what? Turn around and face me. I would, but I don't know where your face is because it's all bandaged. <laughs> Molly, how could you? This is so embarrassing. Yeah, but you're going to be, like, so popular. Share that on TikTok and you could be, like, a TikTok star. I mean, your eyeball was, like, hanging out from that shampoo. Gross and cool and weird and ew. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel about it, Stephanie. Okay, I just did. Duh. <laughs> hey there, Cyclops. Whoa. That is so crazy and weird. Is your eyeball going to, like, fall out? <laughs> I'm having the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, get away from me, crazy Cyclops. <laughs> oh, where's the bathroom? I'm too blind to see where I'm going right now. <laughs> oh, I ran into the wall. I fight into the bathroom. Uh, no, you're standing right in front of me, Cyclops. Oh, oh no, I really can't see. <laughs> okay, what's that say? Toy. Toilet. Oh, perfect. I can hide in here until the entire day is over. Oh, my God, it's so embarrassing. Daisy, are you okay? Molly, go away. I'm never going to be okay until this is over. Daisy, come on. Come out of the bathroom. I would if I could find the doorknob, but I don't know what it is. Okay, just just move your hand up the door and... and. Where's the doorknob? I can't find it. Oh, this is so annoying. Why did this have to happen to me? I was just trying to wash my hair and do my night routine. And my life is just ridiculous right now. Okay, wait, I found the doorknob. I'm sorry this is happening to you, Daisy. Me too, Molly. It's so bad. And every time I cry because I'm sad, it burns my eyeball. And I don't know what to do. Oh, Daisy, maybe it's getting better already. I mean, let's just take the bandage off. We're not supposed to take it off for two weeks, Molly. Yeah, but you healed super fast. Remember that time you fell off your bike and you cut your knee and it was healed like the next day? Your eye is probably all better already. Do you think so, Molly? I think so, Daisy. Let's take off the bandage. Well, here goes nothing. I hope you're right. And I think it's probably healed, just like you said. My day will get so much better because it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Daisy, just, just put the bandage back on. Uh, no, yeah, you should definitely listen to the doctor. Ooh, put it back on. Wait, why? <gasps> you said it was all better, right? Um, it, uh, it needs a little bit more healing. Yeah, that's it. Like, a little bit more needs to heal. <laughs> but sure, it's looking a lot better. <laughs> It looks terrible, doesn't it? Daisy, don't look in the mirror. D don't do it. Ah! I'm hideous! I can't believe this! It's, 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 it's a disaster! 
Well, um, the one good thing about the pirate patch is, well, um, it doesn't look as terrible as that does. Uh... Daisy, I have an idea. Stay here. Really? Why? Just trust me on this. I'll be right back. I have to go to the school nurse. School nurse? What's she doing? Here, Daisy. Put this on your eye instead. Okay, well, that doesn't cover your total eye, but it definitely covers the part where it was hanging out. And it's got a cute little heart on it. Look at it. Oh, wow. That looks so much better, Molly. I mean, it still looks like I got hurt, and you did snap it to everybody in the school, but it's not as ugly as that other one. It's actually kind of, well, cute. It matches my shirt. Thanks, Molly. I'm really sorry that I accidentally sent that snap to everyone. I really didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It happens. Thanks for being so nice to me today. You're welcome, Daisy. And I'm sorry this happened to you. Try not to get shampoo in your eye ever again. Oh, I learned my lesson. I definitely did. Uh, no more baby shampoo for me. I'm making homemade shampoo out of like the most gentle stuff like coconuts. And you can make your own homemade shampoo, you know that, Molly? Uh, yeah, if you're not too lazy. I mean, I'm totally lazy, but then I don't wash my hair every day anyway. Ew, Molly, what? No, I can't wash it because it gets crazy if I wash it every day. You're just saying that because you want to be lazy. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe a little. Well, should we get to class? You love science class. Yeah, I guess I have to face everybody with this eye patch again. Well, it's a lot better than your eyeball hanging out. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I really want to text him. I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Oh, what if he thinks I'm a dork? What if he doesn't answer? What if he says, leave me alone? You're a loser. Uh-oh. Well, my mom always says, if I don't try, I'll never know. So here goes nothing. What should I say? Hey, Dan. No, that seems so lame. Like, like, like I'm desperate to talk to him. How about just like, hey... And then what do I want to say? I want to say, will you go to the dance with me? But, um, I'm just too afraid to ask it that way. So, um, I guess I'm just going to say, what's up? Did you understand the math homework? Yeah, that seems like totally random. So, uh, it's not like I'm saying like, hey, let's go to the dance together or anything. I'm just asking about math homework. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a dork. Oh my god, dot, dot, dot. He's writing back. Who is this? Oh, I thought he knew who it would be. Um, it's Laura? Oh boy. He probably doesn't even know who I am. <gasps> dot, dot, dot! He knows who I am. Okay, I think. Or maybe he's gonna be like, leave me alone. Or I'm freaking out about this texting with Dan right now. I have such a huge crush on him. He's so cute. Oh, this is taking forever. What is his reply gonna be? Oh! Laura? Oh, yeah, that rainbow haired chick from math? Sup? Oh! That's a pretty good response. Um, whoa, look at this cat. <laughs> Grumpy cat. Grumpy cat is perfect. The math homework was so insane. <laughs> At least we're talking. That's a good sign, right? Totally. Anyway? So, yeah, he's not that great at typing. Who cares? I'm so in love. Oh. My partner is ready. See you in class later. I think by this text, it means he's totally going to ask me to the dance. When am I ever going to sleep tonight? Tomorrow's going to be such a big day. I can just dream about it now. Is it morning already? Well, today is going to be the, one of the best days of my life because Dan's going to ask me to the school dance. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be an amazing day. 
I'm gonna like look so beautiful. I, I just have to like look so great because I'm gonna- <gasps> Ah! What's going on with my face? There, 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 there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pimples. Ah! It looks terrible! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Well, maybe nobody will notice. I mean, I'm a teenager. We get pimples, right? Oh my god. Who am I kidding? Everybody's gonna notice. Oh. Well, I guess there's no choice but to go to school. And I'll just try to put some makeup on. Yeah, that should cover these pimples. <laughs> I have some really great makeup from Sephora, and I just, I just, I, I just gotta use it on these pimples, and everything will be okay. Just put a little here, and put a little here, put a little here. Later at school. Why can I not get a signal in this school? It's so annoying. Don't they know I need to put up a snap right now? Come on. <laughs> that TikTok is hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, Dan. Do you have a signal right now? Yeah, I've been watching TikTok videos. These ones are hilarious. Want to see? No, not really. But um, hey, going to the dance this Friday? Um, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about this one girl I was going to ask. Well, um, if you're going to ask, you better hurry up. She probably will have five other guys asking her in the next ten minutes. Whoa, you think so? Yeah, she's really popular. Oh, I didn't think she was that popular. What? Yes, she's that popular. Who are we even talking about right now? Oh, uh, sorry, Bunny, but I got to get going. <laughs> it's time for class. Yeah, okay. See you later, Dan. Bye! Hey, Bunny. I brought you your favorite from Starbucks like I always do. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the extra shot of hazelnut in it, Tiffany. God, can you do anything right? What? Bunny, I even paid for this myself. Do you think it's so rude? Oh, I should totally, totally post about this online. What? You better not! Or, or I'm gonna tell everybody your secret about how you farted at the sleepover. <laughs> You wouldn't dare. I would. Okay, Laura, don't panic. It's just a couple little pimples. No one's going to even notice. <laughs> no one. O-M-G. Look who it is. It's Laura. And oh, what happened to your face? It looks like someone cooked a pizza on it. Um, uh, it's just a couple of pimples. I don't know why it happened. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, can you say loser? <laughs> Ugh, those are gross. Tiffany, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Laura. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, we better get to class, Bunny. <laughs> we don't want to have to miss our cheerleading competition. And the t teacher said if we missed another day, uh, we couldn't go. Well, see you later, pizza face. Ugh. Yeah, bye. Oh no, hopefully Dan just doesn't notice. I mean, there's not that many pimples, right? Oh look, I got a new snap. What? What is this? Ugly? Ugh, I can't believe I have to be at school today. This is like the worst day to be here. Why couldn't this happen on a Saturday? Oh, my phone's buzzing. What? Gross? <laughs> This for everyone to see. Oh my god! I can't show my face in this school ever again. <laughs> Seriously, Tiffany, that was so rude. <laughs> Whatever, Dan. I was just stating the truth. Yeah, Dan, she is a pizza face. Gross. You guys are the meanest ever. What? What did you say to me? I thought you were going to ask me to the dance. Not a chance, Bunny. You're ugly on the inside. And that's a lot worse than having a couple of pimples. I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, you are so rude. <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about being nice or rude. Both of you are totally rude. Anyway, I gotta go find Laura. You guys are bullies. Where's Laura? I've looked everywhere for her. <laughs> Well, I hear her crying. Well, unless that's the school ghost. That person's creepy. I think that Laura's voice is coming from the janitor's room. 
I saw once, I think on like TikTok, that you could put just like a tiny bit of bleach on your pimple and then it would burn your face horribly. What am I thinking? Laura, are you in there? Oh, don't look at me. I'm so gross. I have a pizza face. Laura, I don't think you're gross at all. Really? But, but, but. Don't listen to those girls. They're just mean and rude and evil. And I think they're jealous of you because you're so cool. <gasps> hey, you think that they're just mean and jealous? Yeah, I think you're super cool. And I'm sorry you cried. That made me feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dan. So I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, it's not very romantic to ask you to go in the janitor's room, but, you know, smells a little bit like, well, an old moldy mop in here, but, you know, <laughs> this is where you were, so... It's okay! I don't mind that you asked me in the janitor's office! I mean, office. Uh, no, I don't think that the title's that official, that he gets his own office or anything. Yeah, true. So, um... So I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock? Sounds great! This is a C event! Bye, Laura. Bye. Whoa. Amazing. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Little Miss Pizza Face. You can't keep me down, Bunny. I'm going to the school dance with Dan. And he didn't mind if I had a couple of pimples. He thought I was amazing anyway. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He told me that he just feels sorry for you. No one else would ever ask you to the dance. <gasps> hey. What? Yeah, it's true. He's just feeling like you're a total charity case, so he invited you to the dance. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst day turned into the best day turned into an even worse day. Well, sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news, Laura, but I am a truth teller, so, you know, have fun with your pizza face. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I know what I could do. If I don't have pizza face and I show up at the school dance, then he'll have to think that I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, watch me transform to, uh, from ugly to model. Hopefully this salon can help me look like a model. That way Dan will think that I'm the prettiest girl and the most amazing girl at the dance. They got really good reviews, so here goes nothing. Oh, hi, how can I help you today? Isn't it obvious? Look at my face. What? What's wrong with your face, honey? It's ugly. What? Your face isn't ugly. Who told you that? Please tell me that you're not saying that to yourself. That's not very nice self-talk. Well, it's true. These mean girls at school told me that I was ugly. Pizza face even. Pfft. Well, obviously they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> the only person I see in front of me is someone that is totally beautiful, gorgeous, model-like, all on her own. What? Are you crazy? Do you need glasses? <laughs> I have pimples all over. So? Pimples don't make you pretty or ugly. You seem like a pretty nice person to me too. I'd be happy to do your makeup for the dance, but I'm not going to make you into a supermodel. Girl, you already are. But can you cover up these pimples? Sure I can. Those are so easy to cover. They taught us all about it at beauty school. Come on, come sit in my chair. Okay. Oops, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. For some reason, I thought it was break time. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's see what we can do about those, well, little beauty spots. They're not beauty spots, they're pimples. Yeah, but everybody gets them when they're a teenager. It's totally fine. Now, let's just put a little makeup here, a little makeup here, a little makeup here. Voila, Cinderella, you're ready for the ball. <gasps> you covered them up perfectly. Thank you, Megan. Yes, you're welcome. But remember, you're beautiful no matter what, supermodel. Don't listen to those mean girls. They don't deserve your attention. Don't let them get in your head, okay? Thank you so much. You're the best salon in the whole world. Well, maybe not in the whole world, but at least in Roblox. Oh my gosh, I feel so cute right now. <laughs> this is so adorable. I'm gonna give myself like a little dog face. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best night of my life. Hey, Laura, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dan. I thought I was gonna pick you up from your house. Oh, um, yeah, I just got done at the salon and stuff, so I guess we could just walk to the dance together. 
Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look really handsome. Thanks. I hope we have fun at the dance together. I'm sure that we will. I'm sorry those girls were so mean to you earlier. I, I... I hope that you didn't just ask me to this dance because, well, you didn't want me to go alone and you felt sorry for me. Wait, what? Who told you that? I've liked you for like two months now. Really? Yeah. I didn't know if you liked me back, so I didn't say anything. But then when you sent me that text, like, out of nowhere, I was like, wait, I think she might actually like me. <laughs> You're right. I do like you. I first noticed you in math class. You were really funny. Aw, thanks. Come on, let's go to the dance. Sounds good. Well, I see that Bunny brought her daddy's Bentley to the to the party. Yeah, of course she did. She's spoiled rotten. She totally is. Wow, this dance is going to be so amazing. Well, look who it is. It's Pizza Face. <laughs> Except for my face isn't pizza. It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to it. I look amazing. And nothing you say to me is going to make me feel bad about myself ever again, Bunny and Tiffany. You guys are just rude bullies. And besides, I have the cutest boy here ever as my date. So, who are the losers now? Well, he was going to ask me, but he felt sorry for you. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not even going to talk to them. Come on, Dan. Let's dance. Oh, I love this song. Whoa, what is he doing? Well, are you gonna dance or not? I mean, I know my dancing's a little weird, but I think you should dance with me. <laughs> are you laughing at my dancing? No, I'm laughing at the fact that you think that you're a better dancer than me. Obviously not, look at me, I'm the world's best dancer. I'm having the time of my life, Dan. I am too. Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Sure I do. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Tiffany. You want to put out a Snapchat of Dan asking me to be his girlfriend while I do this crazy <gasps> awesome dance? Oh, get away from us. No problem. <laughs> to my channel today is going to be super fun because we are going to be spying on people in snapchat guys i just found out a way to become invisible in roblox and basically you have to get a bunch of really weird stuff and put it on your avatar so it makes you like this oh my gosh guys i'm totally invisible this is amazing oh i cannot wait to spy on people this is gonna be so cool Okay, first I'm going into Six Guys Restaurant. Oh, look, there's somebody eating a burger. Okay, um, I'm gonna spy on them. Ew, are they, do they have cheese in their teeth? Gross. Ew. All right, guys, I'm totally taking a snap of them with cheese in their teeth. Say cheese. <coughs> what? Who, who put this? Cheese teeth? Do I really have cheese in my teeth? Who's, who's there? Is, is somebody there? <laughs> that is so awesome. She doesn't even know I'm sitting right across from her. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> OMG, guys. There's another probably Star Squad fan in our same server. She's pumping some gas in her car. Guys, I think I'm going to get in her car and drive away. <laughs> she's not going to understand what's happening because I'm totally invisible. And she's going to be like, wait, where's my car going? It's driving itself. Oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Hey, where's my car? Hey, what are you who's driving my car? They're it's somebody invisible. Oh my God, somebody in the game is invisible. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for the car. I get done driving it around a lot. <laughs> oh, man. Why did I name you Fido? I should have named you Farty. Oh, that smells so bad. All right, Fido. Um, 
Come on, don't go poo-poo here. I, I don't want to pick it up. Please. Please don't. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I'm not picking it up. I know you're supposed to, but I'm not gonna. I just got that whole thing on Snapchat. I don't want to pick up your poo-poo. Don't poop right there. Don't, don't poop there. Uh-oh. I just got that entire thing on Snapchat. Now I'm going to tell everybody in Roblox that you didn't pick up the dog poo. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm at some random person's house right now. And I'm totally going to ding-dong ditch their house right now. I'm going to ring the doorbell. And then when they answer, no one's going to be here. Because I'm invisible. All right, let's do this. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Are they coming? Are they home? Oh, there they are. Hello? Who is it? What? No one's here. Oh, did someone just prank me? Rude. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it again. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> no one's on the ring camera. Okay, this is really starting to be annoying. Who is this? Whatever. This is probably some bully from school. Oh my gosh! I just saw the doorbell ring and there's no one there! It's a ghost! Ah! Okay, I'll just, I'll just go in my house and close the door. That's what I'll do. Little does she know I'm inside her house, guys. Watch this. Oh, I'm gonna take a snap of her. Like, from inside her house. It's a new snap? Wait, that's me! I'm standing in this very room! Oh my god, there's a ghost in my house! Ah, house for sale! House for sale! To the next house, and I cannot wait to spy on these people! OMG! Wait, what's going on? There's a boy and a girl. Are they on a date? He's wearing a tie! Oh my uh -oh. god, guys, let's see if the door is unlocked so I can just walk in. Oh, I'm gonna open it. Hey, did you just hear that? Uh, not really. Oh, guys, they don't even know that someone's in the house. They are on a date. Oh, my God, look at them. They look so cute. Aww. So, um, uh, it's nice being at your house. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, my gosh, guys. They may even kiss. I don't know. I mean, he seems like he likes her, and she seems like she likes him. So, um, you want to watch a movie and eat some popcorn? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, so I have to prank these guys. What can I do? What can I do? Um, let's look in the refrigerator and see if there's something in there to prank them with. Take food. Oh, guys, look. It's floating popcorn. This is perfect. Watch this, guys. Um, do you see that? Oh my god, your house is haunted. <laughs> He wants a popcorn! Woo! Ah! Oh my god! Somebody's in our house! And it's a ghost or they're invisible or something! Wait! Come back! You didn't eat your popcorn on your date yet! Come back here! Hey! Come back! Oh my gosh! They just like... They're running, guys! I think they're going to the laundromat or something. Oh no! Dead end! What are you gonna do? Huh? 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 <laughs> Haunted popcorn! After you! OMG, there's an invisible player in here and they're being crazy. Oh man, he figured me out. Okay, guys, I have to exit. But let's go see what Molly and Daisy are doing now. Oh my god, guys, I can't exit. Ah! I'm gonna i I'm gonna tell the game admin that you're invisible. Oh my gosh, guys, he turned me in. And look, my invisibility is starting to wear off. But I'm still pretty invisible. Oh, I look terrifying. Like, look at me. I'm like creepy looking. Look, I have no arms. I look like sort of like, I don't know. I do look like a ghost. That's weird. Um, Guys, I need to figure out how to get over this wall. Oh, wait, there's a door. Duh. That would be a good way to get over this wall. All right, I need to run before I get banned from this game because I came in here invisible and now I'm spying on people and taking pictures of them with Snapchat. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not supposed to do that inside the game. All right, guys, I'm back at my own house and I just want to see what I look like as this invisible ghost swimming in the pool. I really want to see it. Oh my gosh, that is so weird looking. Oh, that is so weird. All right, I'm getting in the hot tub now. 
Oh, I can change the lights. Okay, let's change the lights. Yeah, just chilling as an invisible ghost in my house. Let's go see if Molly and Daisy are actually doing their homework right now. Molly, did you do your homework? Mom expects you to. Nah, she's not here anyway, so uh, what's she gonna do about it? Oh, really, I'm not here. Hmm? Okay, well, what are you doing, Molly? Molly, you're supposed to be doing your homework. What are you doing? Oh, look, she's playing games on her phone. Hmm, time to teach her a lesson. Uh, Daisy, do you see that floating sandwich or is it just me? <coughs> well, Molly, don't be crazy. Get back here, floating sandwich. I want to eat you. Come here. Come here, floating sandwich. Hey, get back here. Molly, <coughs> if it's a floating sandwich, it means that the house is haunted. I don't care. I want that sandwich. Get back here. <laughs> this is so much fun. Keeping a sandwich from Molly is like the most entertaining thing I've ever done. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, sandwich, I want to eat you. Get back here. <laughs> Never. Sandwich, get back here. Oh, I have something for you, Molly. Ah, is, is that a shovel? Oh my gosh. Maybe they're going to dig me a grave or something. Uh-oh. This game is haunted. Daisy. I could take a snap of this and then teach her a lesson to do her homework. Daisy, Daisy, th 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 there's a floating shovel and it's out to get me. <laughs> a floating shovel out to get you, Molly. Don't be ridiculous. Daisy, please just turn around and look what I'm talking about. Please. Okay, Molly, fine. Where's this floating shovel you're talking about? Huh, what? It was right here chasing me. Yeah, like the floating sandwich was. Sure, Molly, sure. Daisy, did you see this snap? It says do your homework or else. Who would have taken this picture? Oh, Molly, you're right. This place is haunted. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in Roblox in so long. OMG, guys. Being invisible in Roblox is a blast. I got Molly and Daisy and some random players today in an awesome prank. I just had so much fun spying on people. Guys, if you want to see more videos of me being invisible with Snapchat, slam that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it'll be you that I spy on in Roblox next! <laughs>
<laughs> Great. Now we can end. Okay, cool. Any game that I can be a unicorn at? Perfect for me. Whoa, Daisy! <gasps> Huggy Wuggy was a blue fuzzy fuzzy. Marty, you should tell your fans that if they haven't checked out the um Poppy Playtime songs on our So Geeky channel, they're amazing, guys. Go to So Geeky and you can listen to all those songs. Wait a minute. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know, but my stomach tells me to go to the cafeteria. Of course it does, Marty. Anyway, I was trying to tell you guys we have amazing Poppy Playtime songs on our channel, So Geeky, and you should check them out. OMG Play Cafe, that looks awesome. I'm getting pretty hungry. What about you, Maddie? <laughs> Did you even have to ask? Yeah, I'm starving. Duh. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let's head to the cafeteria. Duh, game. We're already in the cafeteria. Duh. I'm too busy, like, jumping around, though, because this is, like, so much fun. I've prepared some food for you, Molly. Yay! OMG, you did? Well, you're a great sister. Let's, let's see what it is. Okay, go to the cafeteria. We're there. Where's this food? Daisy, are you freaking me right now? I'm going to share this on Snapchat. What? There's no Snapchat in you. No, in real life. Daisy, prank me in Roblox! Find a seat, and I'll hand out some food. If there was food to hand out, I'd hand it out. Okay, I'm finding a seat. I don't want to sit next to you, Daisy. You smell. No. What's Molly? <laughs> Just kidding. I'll sit next to you. Now you can hand out the food, Daisy. Good. I made pizza. <laughs> Not really. The game did. But, you know, here you go. Here's your pizza. Oh, yum. I love pizza. Why is it stuck on my arm? Oh, I didn't even get to eat it. My, it just, like, burned my arm with hot pepperoni grease. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit of a glitch in the game. Totally. Look at our arms. We can't eat pizza like this. That's just rude! Objective, eat the pizza. Oh, my arm ate it. Uh, guys, I don't feel so good. Well, don't feel that you're poisoned because your arm can't even move to your mouth. So how did you eat it? And also, no worries. We have a medical center. We need to go get the medicine instead. Okay. Um, How do we get there? OMG! Alright, I guess that's the medicine. Let's go get it, Molly! I think I know the way! Okay, don't die on the way, Daisy. I mean, y your your armpit did get burned by the pepperoni grease, so be very careful. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be okay as long as I can put medicine in my armpit. And you can get some deodorant for yours. Oh, <laughs> very funny, Daisy! There's the medicine. Are you all better? Thanks so much, everybody. I feel better. Daisy, who's everybody? It's just us. Okay, yeah, it's just us. Let's head to bed. Bed? We're sleeping here? Uh. Ay, ay, ay. How do I even play games with this girl? Daisy, let's stick together. Which one are you getting into? No, the purple one, Daisy. The purple one. Look how I'm sleeping, guys. My arm is, like, straight up in the air. All right, everybody who's watching this video, I want you to stick your arm straight up in the air like this. Could you sleep like that? No, I don't think so. Daisy did it in real life. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you said to. And it's your channel, Molly. Oh, Ow! Why am I getting thrown around on my bed? Ugh. Seriously, this is how I wake up every morning. Uh, upside down. Falling out of my bed. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Daisy, I'm literally stuck in the bunk bed. Ah, game glitch. Okay, I think I got out. Good. Um, we should probably run. There's a creepy cat in here. Oh, it's just chasing Daisy. Good luck, Daisy. Molly, it's eating me. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to you. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm locked in here? Are you serious? Yeah, Molly, guess what? Good think you have infinite lives, because this thing is really creepy. Um, Daisy, I'm still after you. Holy guacamole, look at that crazy cat. Ah! Ah, no, no, please don't get me. Oh, wow. Molly, get up here. We can't get you. I can't climb. I'm too chubby. Oh, God, no, he can get up there. Lies. Sorry, I didn't think he could. Okay, he's chasing us, like, too quickly. You look like a stuffed unicorn. He just wants to, like, 
Tear your arms off like a stuffed animal. Holy guacamole, this cat is evil. Huggy Wuggy, please help me! Oh, he listened to me. He listened! Marley, it looked like catnap. But evil. I'm not so sure if I like this place anymore. Even if I get to be a cute little fuzzy unicorn. We need to find a way out, Daisy, and fast! I agree, Marley. This doesn't seem like a very safe place to be. Uh, but as soon as we said that, all of the entrances and exits are closed. Okay, that's just great. I think we're trapped! <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely are. Um, uh-oh. Wait, look! What? Is it another piece of pizza? I get dibs on it. No, Marley, look, it's a good abbey for us to escape from. Oh, no. Good thing I bought the infinite lives! <sighs> bum, bum, bum! Nah, it looks like this way is blocked off, too. Never mind. Wait! Look! There is a vent! Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Molly, I love your sound effects. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> never give up and never surrender, because you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, boop, 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 you can do it! Even you, Molly, even you. Aww. Thanks, Daisy. I think that was a vote of confidence, but I'm not really sure. Whoa. 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 Yeah! We made it just in time. Nice. Let's go through the vent. Oh. Why is my health down to 87%? Did that cat scratch me? Oh, no. I've got cat scratch fever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you believe her sometimes? She's an annoying sister sometimes. Yes. But I beat you out of here. An office? Whose office is this? Look, there's a button on the table. Pressing it. Molly, it might make the whole place explode. Whee! This is so much fun. Molly, let's see what it does. Press the button on the table. Boink. Ay, 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 Molly. Oh, wait, it opened a door. Never mind. I guess you're being totally crazy. Kind of actually worked out for us. The door opened. Now what? Be careful. And let's try to find a way to get out of here. <gasps> Attention all guests. Please make your way to the toy factory. Uh, we were trying to think about going to the exit, actually. Molly, I think we should do what he says. He's got some crazy critters in here. All right, let's go see what they want. Well, we're here. What do they want now? I think Huggy Wuggy is just, like, going to come to life and kill us all. No, oh, Molly, that's not this chapter. So what do they want? I don't know. Uh, welcome to the toy factory. I think we're about to find out. We're going to be creating a toy. What? <gasps> awesome. Can we eat pizza too? Because I want to have a pizza party and a sleepover. Let's get started. I have a few questions. What is the name of the company? Playtime Co. Oh, look how you look. I got it right. In which year was Huggy Wuggy created? Uh, 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 75, Molly! Uh, no, Daisy, 1984. Ugh, never listen to Daisy. Well, I'm usually so smart. What is the experiment number of Huggy Wuggy? Boy, like guacamole, this is really hard! Oh, uh, 1170. What color tile is not present in the main hall? Ugh. Uh, green? Yay! That's a little bit more of your strategy. <laughs> do I get to live or do I have to use one of these infinite lives? When was Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 released? <gasps> these questions are ridiculous. All right, July? Wrong. When was Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 released? Uh, 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 uh. I'm getting all of these wrong, guys. Obviously, I am more before I play Roblox. I have to study for school, now I have to study for Roblox? Who's the best smiling critter? Coin! Absolutely. Oh, they wanted to see a catnap. Of course they did. Too bad, evil catnap. I'm not picking you. Thanks for playing my little game, huh? <laughs> yeah, I failed it, as per usual. Wait, where'd he go? I thought we were making a toy. Yeah, what happened to the lights? No. Seems like the power turned off. 
This isn't really like what I had in mind for hanging out here. This is really creepy. Um, okay, something is going on at the train station. I don't know what. Oh, there's the electrical. Okay, turn up the electrical. <laughs> like that means anything to me. I'm terrible with maps. Looks like we can turn the power on from the electrical room. Well, which way, Daisy? Let's go turn the power back on, Molly. I thought it said we were going through the train station, but I guess we have to go this way. Oh, it's kind of giving us really confusing arrows. Okay. I think if we go into the entrance hall. Looks like we just need to turn everything back on. Gee, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Look, okay, yeah, it was kind of obvious. Restore the power. No problemo. Press the button. Molly, what's that alarm sound? Oopsie! Oh, Molly, I think it's okay to turn back on. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, they freaked us out with that alarm sound, though. What was that all about? Molly, look, the exit! All right, let's try to get out of here now. This has been really creepy. Let's go! Never give up and never surrender and don't run into the wall. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Don't tell anybody. That was kind of embarrassing. Let's go for it. Hopefully Huggy Wuggy doesn't come to life. Or Catnap isn't there. Wait. Something crazy's gonna happen. Here's the exit. Uh, Daisy? Where did the Huggy Wuggy statue go? I knew it! Huggy... Uh-oh. It's catnap! Defeat evil catnap. Okay, I've got a baseball bat. I'm not afraid to use it. Crazy cat. Whoa, Daisy is taking that cat down. Um, but there's more minion cats where that one came from. Good thing it's alive. Huh? Huh, Booger? Huh? Did you just call me Booger? Yeah, that's all I could think of. All right, is he gonna send out any more minions or we did, did we do it? Oh no, Molly. I just have this crazy sword that takes the cat down real fast. Ha ha ha! Well, 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 oh. <laughs> He's weak! Attack him! Wow. Catnap, that wasn't even like. I feel sort of bad. Oh god, he totally hit Daisy. Daisy, are you okay? Not really, Molly. And now he's sending up spikes. Um, Daisy, the thing I want to tell you is maybe you should have bought infinite lives. Oh, do it. There's more cat minions. I'm never gonna give up and never surrender. Good luck defeating me. We did it! We did it! Can we leave now? This was crazy. It looks like the exit door leads to nothing. Ah, oh, this game! It's keeping us here forever. Let's check out the train station and see if we can exit from there. <laughs> Look at Catnap. He's like, la, 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 la. I've gone crazy. La, 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 la. The train station. Okay, we can finally get out of here. And also, this uh, unicorn suit is starting to get a little hot and itchy. Buddy, look at the tracks. It's Catnap. <gasps> oh, what? Um, that's not good. Uh, should we rescue him? No, you're evil. <laughs> I'm not. I'll let you guys go. I promise. Aww. You just tried to hurt us. Oh, I'm sorry. Please let me go. Uh, let me think about this. No. I agree, Molly. That's a big fat no ski. Don't free him. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, catnap. Yeah, sorry, catnap. I don't and can't trust you. I was going to help you. Uh-huh, sure you were. Liar! But now you guys can stay here with me. Um, uh, no. Forever! <laughs> Ugh, that was creepy. Oh, I just got the bad ending. The bad ending. Well, uh, have you guys played this game? What ending did you get? Did you get the bad or the good or the insane or the crazy or the... Oh my god, ending. Right, there might only be two. I don't know. I have to play again and see how many endings I can get. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. We just love hearing from you guys. You're the best fans in the world. So leave us a comment, okay? See you next time. Bye! Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, Molly, why aren't you in bed? It's getting really late. I don't know. I just couldn't sleep, and I was thinking about maybe having a snack. Can I have some cake, please, please, please? Um, Molly, it's a little late for cake, don't you think? Uh, my answer to that is no, and also no. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? Just getting ready to go to bed. By working out? That sounds miserable. I just want to eat cake before bed. Trust me, Dad, it'll help me sleep. Molly, you could have a healthy snack before bed. Now, I need to get my work in it, out in so I can get to sleep. I have a big day tomorrow. Okay, Dad, whatever you say. I'm going to have just a little bite of chocolate cake, okay, Dad? Molly, no, an apple, a banana, something like that. Uh. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's the day I'm going to get promoted. It's going to be amazing, honey. Honey? Honey? Well, I know you're dreaming about my promotion and you're super proud of me in it, even if you aren't listening to me right now. <laughs> I also know you had a really long day. I'll see you in the morning. Love you, Laura. I guess that means I love you back. The next morning. Oh boy, oh boy! Today's the day of the science for you. Do, 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 do. I know I'm gonna win this year. My science project is the best of them all. Yay! I got up super early just so I could be extra prepared and to school extra early. No, no, I want to ride the purple unicorn. The purple one's my favorite. Come on, why can't I ride the purple unicorn? She looks so fast. Is that my alarm? Oh, it's too early. Oh, Who ever heard of morning detention? It's not right. It's not fair. Well, Molly, that sounds about right. They ran out of detention afternoons, so they had to start giving you a morning one. Molly? Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Time to go brush my teeth and get ready for the day. Ah, oh, what a shame the shower is broke. I guess this morning I'm gonna have to take a luxurious bath before I have to do tons of mom stuff. I have to take baby Kira to a doctor's appointment. I have to get groceries, oh, so much stuff. But right now, I'm in heaven. Ah. Ah, it's morning already. Oh, this is gonna be a great day though. <laughs> Oh, uh, my hair feels kind of crazy. That's right, though. I've got plenty of time to get ready before my job promotion. It's going to be amazing. With the extra money, I'm going to buy my family a brand new in-ground swimming pool this summer. How awesome. <sighs> Just going to do a little working out, get myself all fired up for my amazing day. The bathroom door's locked. No one ever gets up this early. Who's in the bathroom? Oh, honey, it's me. The shower broke again. Uh, are you going to be long? Are you just going to the bathroom? Because I, I, I have to get ready. Um, yeah, I won't be that much longer. I'm taking a bath. I'm just, I'm, you know, been like stressed, so. Well, uh, uh I applaud your self-care, honey, but I have a big day today, big promotion, and my hair looks a little crazy, okay? So, um, yeah, like 10 minutes? Sure, honey, sure, I'll be right out. One eternity later. Well, I guess Dan needs to get ready for his job today. I should probably get out of the bathroom. It's all yours, honey. Great, I can finally get ready now. Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito. Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito. Molly, what are you doing? I have to come in there. No, you definitely do not want to come in here. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Molly, come on. I'm going to be late for my job promotion. and This is a big deal. Do you want the swimming pool or not? Dad, you look fine. Just go on your interview like that or whatever it is you're doing today. Your promotion, interview. I don't know what grown-ups do. Molly, I'm wearing plaid pajamas and have you seen my hair? Yeah, it looks really cool. Stylish even, Dad. <laughs> I've seen rock stars who actually do their hair like that. 
I'm a police officer, not a rock star. Ooh, pancakes sound delicious. Honey, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Huh, Molly just went into the bathroom and she's stinking it up again. Yeah. I told her to stop eating bean burritos, but she doesn't listen. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You seem really stressed. This is supposed to be a special day for you. Yeah, look at the time. You know what she actually told me? I should wear my plaid pajamas to my job promotion. Well, you could always go use the kids' bathroom. What? The kids' bathroom? Oh, no way! Oh, quit being so dramatic, Dan. Besides, desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, the horror of that bathroom. There's toothpaste on the walls. It's just wrong. You'll survive. Besides, it's either that or going into our bathroom after Molly's been in there. Okay, I guess I have no choice. I'm going for it. This left pigtail doesn't seem exactly even with the right pigtail. Maybe if I brush it another 200 times, it will make it perfect. I mean, I have to look like a fashionista at the science fair. I can't believe I'm about to go into the kids' bathroom. Wait, Daisy's in there? Daisy, are you almost done? Um, no, not really. My pigtails aren't even. Today's a very important day for me. I have to look my best. But today I'm getting a promotion and, and, and I'm going to use the extra money to buy a pool. I don't want a pool. Get out of the bathroom! Oh, wow. Somebody's grumpy. You think you'd be in a better mood since you're getting a promotion at your job. I just need to brush my hair. It takes me five seconds to take a shower. Unlike all the girls in the house who take 45 minute showers, get out of the bathroom! Whoa. Okay, I just need another five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I have to leave in five minutes. I don't know what to tell you, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> Honey, where are you going? I have to leave now. I'm going to be late for my own job promotion. Oh, uh, are you going like that? I have no choice. Well, here, at least take this cup of coffee. Thanks, honey. Uh. Whew, that room's closed for the next year. <laughs> hey, I'm done in the bathroom. Okay, my pigtails are finally perfect. You could use the bathroom now, Dad. Oh, too late. I guess I'm just going to work like this. Well, have fun at your promotion. Bye. I don't know why he was so grumpy. You'd think he'd be happier about a promotion. Oh, Birds freezing out here and I'm wearing my pajamas. Well, he did have to take the motorcycle today. Since I needed to take baby Kira to her doctor's appointment, I needed the car. Oopsie. Well, hopefully he has a good day anyway. Yeah, we're getting an indoor pool. No, Molly, in ground pool. I think he said indoor. In ground. Okay, girls, why don't you get ready for school and I will take you. Really? We don't have to ride the bus? Yep, I made some pancakes. Go eat them and then we'll head out. Wow, this was a great morning routine. I thought so too. Very relaxing. Totally. <laughs>
You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. No, seriously! I have amnesia! I can't remember anything! Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> this looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly, sorry. I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing, and Molly, ugh, I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You'd think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard, I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh. I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay, why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? Really? Um, eh, uh... I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck. I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody, be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God, we're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that... Frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, but, uh, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, slamming this book shut because the teacher literally just said to us that these frogs wouldn't bite and you want to know what? Um, they can. This textbook, we, we can't use this because we can't even like think about this right now. I'm throwing it in the trash. Wait, what are you even talking about, Molly? I threw that textbook away because Mrs. Griffin said frogs don't have teeth. So either she lied to us or this textbook was wrong. Either way, we're not using this book. We're going to be able to learn Molly style. Okay, um, so, does anyone know what color a frog is? Ugh, this teacher is such an ignoramus. Um, they're pink. What? No, look at the frog right in front of you, Sarah. Do I have to give you a failing grade today? I know, I know, they're green. But we learned about this before we even started preschool, Molly. Is that the grade level you're at? Um, perhaps. Boo! This teacher only gets one star. Yeah, and you smell like a rotten taco salad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I kind of, well, uh, Molly, don't even say it. Okay, well, I did have a bean burrito, and, well, we know what happens when I eat a bean burrito. 
Brookie, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Molly teacher. What questions do you have for me? Do you think frogs are cute? Yes or no? Um, well, uh, not really. Fail! What? Th this teacher is terrible. Bring back Mrs. Griffin. I'm sorry, Molly, but I had to say that even though you're my BFF. <laughs> we should stop talking about the frogs. We seem to be having a little bit of a disconnect here. Let's talk about quantum chrome. Oh, dynamic. How are you going to talk about it when you can't even say the subject? Um, I know a lot about quantum chromodynamics. Money, where are you going? Um, I'll be right back for just one second. She went outside to Google it, didn't she? Um, yeah, probably. A few minutes later. I'm back. And I know what quantum chromodynamics is. In theoretical physics, quantum chromodynamics is the theory of the strong interaction between quarks mediated by gluons. Yeah! That sounds about right. See how smart I am? No. I see that you're an ignoramus, like, every single day. Uh, Molly, bring Mrs. Griffin back, please! So it seems everybody at the school hated Molly. So she cried. A lot. <laughs> I'm a terrible teacher. Everyone hates me. <laughs> they're gonna give me one star review and, and 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 they're gonna fail me at a teacher. Well, Molly, I'll give you two stars sent to my sister. Yeah, I don't think you can fail the teacher. Although that should really be a, a, like totally a choice because most of my teachers are lame. What? I love this school. Of course you do. Why is my frog looking at me funny? Is he gonna bite me? Yeah, sure. The frog wants to eat you, Daisy. Well, you never know. The book said that frogs have teeth. Ugh. Both of you are ignoramuses. Which makes sense because you're sisters. Also, I think you're getting a pimple. Wait, what? I have a pimple! I have a pimple! This is the worst day ever! Daisy, sit down. You're freaking out. What are you doing? I don't have to listen to you. You're not the real teacher. Um, okay. I quit. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> this is a disaster. So, have you learned your lesson, Molly? Yeah. You're a much better teacher than me. You can have the job. Hey, Molly, I see you're back to being a student. Absolutely. This was terrible being a teacher. Never, ever again. Well, I guess you're back to just being a lowly student like us, staring at frog teeth. Wow. <laughs> and I'm happy to be it. Okay, class. Okay, everyone settle down. I know there's frogs on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late! I'm not late! I swear it! I'm not! Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. Uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow! Look at these frogs! I know, they're kind of cute, right? Um, yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, but are they gonna bite me? I just got done telling the class, no one's frog is going to bite them. Hell, frogs are like so gross and boring. Yeah. I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie and Molly, please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not gonna be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't wanna have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. <laughs> no, seriously, I have amnesia. I can't remember anything. Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> This looks super hard. 
Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh... Molly! Sorry! I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing, and... Molly! Ugh! I don't even know what to do with you anymore! I mean, I've given you enough detentions, you'd think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard, I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh. I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <sighs> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay, why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? <laughs> really? Um, eh, uh... I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck. I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody, be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that... Frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, but, uh, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, no more English, no more math. No more crazy quantum sciencey blah 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 blah. Throwing it all in the trash. Wait, what? We are going to do school Molly's way. <laughs> and in this school, everybody passes, no matter what. Because how can you fail Molly's school? Well, except for you, Daisy, you might fail Molly's school. W why? Because you're an overachiever. And in Molly's school, you're an underachiever. Watch my very first lesson. First things first, lay on the ground. Take a nap if you even want to. The teacher's very boring, don't you know? So there's your first lesson, everybody. I want to see you laying down, being lazy. This is graded, so try your hardest or your least hardest. School is so boring. Ugh, I just need to be lazy. Great job, Brookie. 96% on your laziness. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm at Molly's school. This is boring. Uh. Um, Sarah, you could have put in a little bit more effort than that, but I'm still going to give you an 85 because you did pretty good, Sarah. Sarah. Wow, her grade just went up to 100. She actually fell asleep. Oh, wow, Sarah, you're amazing. Yeah, being lazy is not that hard. Daisy? I can't do it. Uh-oh. Daisy, never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. <sighs> All right. I'll try. This feels so wrong, but here we go. Daisy, great job. One, two, 
Daisy, are you doing sit-ups? What are you doing? No, no, that's not the point. Being lazy is the point. Well, I just thought while I'm laying on the floor, I can make that work for me by getting better abs and be healthy. Daisy, you get an F. Wait, what? Why? Because, Daisy, I'm exhausted just looking at you. The, the, the whole point was to be lazy. Well, then I guess I failed Molly's class because I'm not lazy. This is who I am. <laughs> I can totally tell. All right, for the next test, eating in class. Who brought something delicious? I, I brought a chicken sandwich with cheese. Oh, it's so good. I got it from Chick-fil-A. Should I eat it? Will that make me pass? <laughs> no, the food's not for you. It's for me. Now, everybody bring up your lunches up here if you want to pass. Molly, you are the worst teacher in the... Shh. Daisy, no one asked you. This is Molly's world, and I'm going to eat all of your lunches. <laughs> I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes, are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect! Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely! Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> This place is so adorable. <coughs> oh, look, honey. This is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. <coughs> um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Oh. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Hi, uh, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna, sorry about that. <laughs> We're just feeling very happy these days because my belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, <laughs> we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving! So yes, 
Yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh. Ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously. I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Ugh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> my baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, ugh. You just won't rest, will you? Nah. Although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine. Whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese. This place is amazing. I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now. <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke. It's like when we were kids. Oh, I landed on my tummy. Ugh. I'm telling you, she's gonna give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Wow! <laughs> Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I, I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have going to. She's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man, I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously, you're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay, I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. <sighs> no, look at my face. I'm, I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door. I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, uh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's... She's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 um. I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking. Ah, I'm going to have a baby. Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly. Ah! Congratulations, Molly. Beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, no, no. That's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. 
Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Well, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. Uh-oh! La la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're going to name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like I don't like to bother anybody. I just I just mind my own business. I'm You're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV. Oh, yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little demon child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm going to shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute. She looks like me. She acts like me. Hey. I, 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 I. Yeah. Ah! You slimed me. <laughs> yep. That's definitely my daughter. But how do I prove it? What seems to be the problem, Mrs. Acker? I, I think that Hannah's my actual daughter. <gasps> Wait, what? What are you even talking about? This is crazy talk. <laughs> no, I came to Twilight Daycare to have my baby. And well, this baby looks just like me and acts just like me. And Maggie doesn't. Maybe they switched us at birth, switched our babies at birth. Whoa, we did have a nurse that ended up quit quitting. Too much pressure. And she went off to be a model or a musician or something. I don't know. But anyway, we've heard of other babies being switched. O-M-G. Okay, time for a blood test. Okay, Hannah. I just need to check your blood to see if it matches Molly's. What? I don't want my blood taken. I swear I won't be naughty ever again. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not that you're in trouble, honey. It's that we think there has been a mix-up with your mom's. What? She's not really my mom? No, Maggie, I'll always be your mom, even if I am your adopted mom. 
But I think that Hannah might be my daughter, too. Blood-related. Okay, um, just um, hold still for a minute, and I'm going to check your blood now. Oh! <laughs> yep, that's definitely how I would have acted. Maggie, you don't have to be upset. I am upset. I'm not naughty enough, so I'm not your daughter. No, that's not true. I can have a demon and an angel for a daughter. <laughs> Well, the results are in. Anna is, in fact, your daughter. I knew it! But now I don't have a mommy! Yes, you do. You both have mommies, so you both don't have to cry. Please, no, seriously, both of you crying. It's gonna make me crazy! <laughs> I can't believe it. She's my mom, and she's kind of ugly. Anna! Okay, yeah, I probably would have said that too, but I also say um things like, Cheesy macaroni! Do you say that? No. You're old. Okay. Um, are you sure the results were right? Do I have to take this one home? Yes, this is in fact your daughter. They were switched at birth. Oh. Um. She. 